I have five simple drills in this one video. Now, because we're going to be sending this over to parents, look parents, you probably don't have cones or footballs or anything. Well, let's keep this very simple. Today, I'm going to use canned goods. I always talk about it, but I've got eight canned goods that I'm using. And then I have some kind of, this is an egg, right? I've got eight eggs here, but you can use a tennis ball. You can use any kind of ball that would fit on top here, just like this. So let's talk about our setup here. What I've done is I've got eight cones in a zigzag formation. So I've got one here. Then I've got two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then I'll place this down as eight. We're talking about four to five yards apart this way, okay? And this way, probably the same. And again, it's just a zigzag formation. I'm gonna show you five things we can do with this one formation. Let's go ahead and get started. The reason I've put something on top here is because I want the kids to start learning how to use their hands, right? I want them to be able to use their hands so that they can start practicing grabbing flags, grabbing flags. When I have a tennis ball or an egg on top of my, my cone, my goods, whatever it is, it starts to train the muscles to grab, right? It will also help with catching a football. Now we're gonna do five different moves. So starting with that first one, let's say I'm a running back and I wanna practice my cutting. Well, here we go. Every single cone, I start on cone number one. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit every single cone, giving a nice cut. So I start slow, boom. I put my outside foot next to that cone and I grab the egg, okay? Then I come over, I grab the other egg. Now, once I've grabbed it fully, I can put it down right next to it. And then parents, what you can do is you can put it right back on. So then I go to the next one, boom, right? <sighs> go to the next one, go to the next one, go to the next one, <sighs> go to the next one. Whew. Boom, full speed. Here we go, you ready? Ready, go. Woo! <laughs> All right, that is number one. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna work on shuffling. Shuffling is like this. Right? A good principle for shuffling is to get big. All right? Don't cross your feet like this. All right? We're not doing any of that. So I'm going to shuffle side to side to each one of these. Here we go. I'm going to grab the eggs again. I get big. Ready, go. <sighs> Boom. Another very important skill is being able to backpedal, right? So backpedaling, let's start at this end. Backpedaling is very important as I'm a defender and I don't want anybody to get behind me. So I wanna be able to practice going backwards and then being able to, if somebody does get the ball, they're coming this way. I want to be able to quickly accelerate and move toward that ball. So backpedaling, again, we're going to use the eggs or the tennis balls or whatever as well. So I start like this, get in a nice stance like a cornerback would do. A cornerback is the one that's defending a wide receiver. So just like this, okay? And then on ready, go. I'm going to go slow here, grab the and I wanna keep my eyes up. And as I hit this next cone, I'm gonna grab it, drop it, move to the next one, okay? Grab it, drop it, move to the next one. Keeping low, you can tell I'm low here. So my body is moving just like this. I've got my arms swinging. Grab it, 
Now, they're gonna have a tendency, they're gonna want to look back, right? So they're gonna wanna do this, uh-uh, eyes forward. You know it's a zigzag, right when you see, oh, there's the can, I move to the next cone. So that's number three. All right, so some of you, if you've ever watched any kind of football video or agility, You'll see when they have a cone, a running back will start to stutter step and then move. So what we're gonna do for number four is I'm gonna run to this first cone, I'm gonna grab it, and I'm gonna stutter step. Stutter step, move. Step, move. This helps with, it's crazy, but speed and agility and keeping low. So when I'm a running back, sometimes they're coming out to my flags. Sometimes I have to get low and move. That's why you wanna work that. All right, our last move is shuffling backwards, okay? We are going to be doing exactly what we did with the shuffling forwards, but now we're just gonna switch it and go backwards, okay? Again, I'm not gonna do it this time, but they're gonna grab each of the eggs and put them down, okay? Here we go. Ready, go. I will do it. Right? It's challenging. This is awareness. Right? So if they didn't have it, let's do it again. Let's say they just touch it, right? I want them to keep their eyes up. So they have a good sense of the field, but at the same time, being able to, you know, grab and see what's around them. So here they are, five moves in one formation. Let's do it again. All right, to recap, our first move is cutting. So I'm gonna start here. Ready, go. Now for me, for me, that was a little tight, right? So I might, if you have some room, I might spread that out a little bit. And remember to grab each of the, the balls or the eggs or whatever at the top. Second move. Second move is shuffling. Start here. Get big. Ready, go. Grab. 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 Woo! Now, as you can tell, I'm slipping a little bit. So, if they have cleats, go ahead and put some cleats on. If not, if we're just hanging out, that's perfectly fine. All right, number three is that back pedal. So I get my stance, all right, keeping my head up, eyes up. I grab the first one, boom, go. Grab that second one, go. Grab that third, go. Grab another one. Oh, grab, go. That's that back pedal, right? I'm watching for the long ball. Nobody beats me deep. And then I'm running up to catch him if I, if I see a run. All right, number four is the stutter step. Start here, grab it here. That's a nice stutter step, right? You learn how to stay low, move your body. All right, and our fifth and final move is the back. Ready, go. 
grab, grab, stay up, stay big, grab, 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 and grab. I'm staying big, I'm staying open, I'm moving backwards, right? So a couple key principles here. On the first one, I wanna make sure that my arms, right? My arms are moving just like this and I wanna be cutting with my outside foot toward the cone, right? And then I wanna grab just like this and we're working on just grabbing flags, right? We're gonna be grabbing these flags all day, every day. So it's important to be able to learn that movement. So that's why we have the eggs or the balls out there. Okay, on the defensive side, I wanna make sure that I'm staying big, right? I'm staying big, I'm able to move side to side, side to side, right? And then my eyes are up. And then when I'm backpedaling, I wanna keep my head up. Even though I feel like I wanna turn around, I wanna keep my head up, okay? So, coaches, send this out to your parents. Parents, use it with your kids. I'm gonna be doing this with my kids as well. This is a backyard quarantine drill. So, five drills in one little video. Look, this is Coach D. If you like what you see, make sure you like, share, and comment. Leave a comment down below. How is this working for you guys? Let me know what you're doing out there because I want to be a resource for you. Look, we're in this together. We can and we will keep going. Stay home, stay safe. We'll see you in the next video.